So, this is where you've been. Surprised to see me. You didn't have to. Your sister called me before I got on the plane. She told me he had collapsed, and we're here. How could I go on a trip with you hurt? I came here because you needed me. What happened? You're a bad liar. You know that? Yes, you are. Who else would be in this hospital room? Have you been eating? Knock it off with a silent treatment and answer the question. Hey. Have you? And why not? Let me guess. No water either? That's why they've got you hooked up to the IV. Don't touch it. You need the fluids. Do I sound mad? So? What? I was just supposed to go on this trip and have fun while you were lying here in the hospital alone? And that's another thing. Why the hell weren't you going to tell me? You don't think this bothers me? Fine. I'm mad. Is that what you want to hear? Jesus. I thought... We were done with secrets. I thought you were doing better. I thought we were a team. Then why say nothing? We're past the point of worrying, okay? When I got that phone call, I... I'm glad she called me because I wanted to be here. I love you, idiot. And if you're in this hospital, I want to be there. So yeah, I came. I would always come for you. In a heartbeat. You know that. If I talk to you that way, it's because you can be incredibly stupid sometimes. What did the doctor say? Dehydration. Right. Are you eating? Right. I want to make sure the fluids get in first. But they'll want you to eat soon, right? They won't release you if you if you won't eat. Have you talked to the psychologist? Yeah. Wanna tell me what they said? Figured. Depression is a, uh, sneaky bitch. Hey. Look at me. This 
isn't your fault. Your meds stop working. It happens. We knew it would. It means you gotta find a new combo, and you will. This isn't our first rodeo. Because you don't have to face this alone. I I'm serious. I don't say anything that I don't mean. I'm with you for the long haul. You don't need to believe my words. Actions speak louder anyways. No. I'm serious. No. Because you're not weak. You're struggling. We all do. I mean, remember when my cousin died? And I couldn't get out of bed for a few weeks? You got me through that. You were there. Patient. Kind. You didn't dump me over it. So why in the hell would I dump you? Shut up. I mean it. Shut up. You're the only one I love. The only one I will ever love. You're mine. And I'm yours. I'm in it for the long haul. So you're gonna have to deal with that, okay? Good. How bad has it been? Why didn't you tell me? I'm not mad at you. I'm upset that I didn't notice. I should have seen the signs. Now you're comforting me. Some boyfriend I am, huh? Love you too. Nah. Figured I would just stay here. Wait until the doctors come. Maybe we can get you discharged early. I said maybe. We're gonna take as much time as we need, okay? It's medical. It's not you just being sad for the hell of it. You have a condition. And sometimes, you need some treatment to get through it. This is one of those times. Hey, would you tell me to walk it off if I, if I had a broken leg? That's what I thought. So stop saying some dumb shit and let's focus on you getting better. I was scared. When your sister told me where you were, my mind went to some dark places. Don't apologize. Let's get better. I love you too, dummy. Giving me the puppy dog eyes. What do you want? Cuddles. Seriously? <laughs> okay. 
Scoot over. Come here. Better? I like having you in my arms. Yeah. You feel... Safe. No more secrets. I promise. Good. Just relax. Doc should be here soon. 